have joy in coming to fellowship now the bible says we should not give up meeting together we should not give up what meeting together you will notice that that's the first thing the devil will do that that christian will lose joy there will there will not be anything three green him or her you know from within for, to come to fellowship any little opportunity he has he or she has he can substitute time of fellowship for those little little things that's the first thing if the devil succeeds to kill your coming to fellowship he has taken one out of three then the second thing you will notice that he will reduce your interest in studying the world now when the devil succeeds to start to reduce your interest am, am i connect, connected already are we connected already okay if the devil succeeds to to kill your interest in studying the word both personally and in church hear me he has taken two over three of that christian's life and the third one if the devil succeeds to kill the christian's prayer life now such christian will already be in the cage of the enemy that's why you must not allow your desire for fellowship your personal time with god and uh, that's to study the word and your time of prayer to die even if you don't have anything to pray hear me Sp be speaking in tongues the bible says he that speaketh in tongues you know speaketh not unto men but speaketh mysteries in his spirit now i brought you know our you know we've been studying the life of jacob this month and i observed this life i saw about 13 prayer points that i want us to pray because we just have to move to the next teaching in december uh, we have to summarize Jacob and end it in the headquarters church is ending today at the level church it will be ending on uh, Sunday hallelujah so we are going to take this prayer point and I say once we start praying rise up on your feet wherever you are catch a new prayer fire did you get it catch a new prayer fire and pray the prayer points as well God we are hacking to your voices in the name of Jesus the God of Jacob will show up in your life too in the name of jesus i didn't hear your amen. amen you know i saw something here as i opened my bible to go to our first scripture this one was not part of my plan i saw it here that genesis 25 11 says and it came to pass after the death of of abraham that god blessed his son isaac and isaac dwelt by the well lahia roy now after the death of his father was when he was blessed i pray for you you will be blessed in the presence of your parents in their lifetime may you be blessed in their lifetime may you be great in their lifetime may you do great exploits so let's look at our prayer the first prayer point number one today genesis 25 and verse 28 that's going to be our uh, verse 23 sorry genesis 25 and verse 23 our first prayer point for today and please we are going to stand up all through once i say let's start praying that would have right look at this and the bible says this is prophecy and the lord said to her when she went to consult two nations are in your womb two people shall be separated from your body one people shall be stronger than the other and the older shall serve the younger now what's this this was the prophecy hear me that came forth when rebecca discovered she was pregnant she was having issues with her tummy she went to inquire of the lord and they said two nations are in your womb now and these two nations that are in your womb one will be greater and stronger than the other then the older will serve the younger now you know why i brought out this prayer point now i brought out this prayer point because i want us to pray concerning the manifestation of god's glorious plans and purpose for our life i told you when i started this teaching that nobody is born a mistake there is nobody that is born a mistake no it will there's a plan of god over each one of us there's what a plan of god you know there was a day jesus our lord was going for a crusade he got to a point and the bible says he met a man you know and the disciples said master 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 look at this man he does not have a place where eyes can be on his face he does not have a place where eyes can be on his face who sinned you know because of his condition they were wondering that who sinned that's according to john chapter 9 who sinned Taloshe, is it this man or his father that made him to be born like this you know what jesus our lord said he said nobody sinned this man did not sin neither did his father sin but he was 
kept this way in order for the glory of God to be displayed in his life. Now, which means the day he was coming to the earth, God planned it that this one will don't create any space for eyes. Jesus will come to the earth one day and put that as one of his miracles. Now, what am I saying? There's a purpose of God over your life. If you believe it, say it after me. There's a purpose of God over my life. Say it, I'm not a mistake. I didn't hear, say I'm not a mistake. One more time, say it, I'm not a mistake. Yes, there's a purpose of God over your life. You know, just like what somebody said, you know, I was saying, we, we didn't have power to choose where we will be born into. God chose our families for us. So we are going to pray. What's prayer point number one? I call for the full manifestation of your glorious plans and purpose for my life in the name of Jesus. Now before we begin to pray, I was watching, you know, there's this video I watched online. It touched my life. They called the lady's name, Helene. I don't know whether you must have watched it. Now this, uh, this lady was born out of rape. They raped her mom. Robbers came to their house, raped the mom, so the mom got pregnant and gave back to her. Now, when the mom gave back to her, uh, she told her story. The family didn't want to see her because nobody wanted to identify with her, so they didn't give her name. Because any confront already at In fact, somebody that was raped, how will you know the father's name? Now, when she told her story, it touched my heart. Now, this woman is a professor now in the U.S. and a comedian now in Nigeria. You know, she lives, she's a citizen abroad and she's a very wealthy man, woman now. She was now sharing her story. How when they wanted to register her in school, they asked for surname. That one man in the area said, give her my surname. Since nobody in the family wants to her to bear the family name, somebody said, give her my name. Let's pray for ourselves. That woman is great today. Jump up on your feet. We are going to pray. Today is prayer meeting. Say, I call for the full manifestation. I didn't hear you. Uh -uh. We have come to pray. I didn't hear you. I call for the full manifestation of your glorious plans and purpose for my life. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to declare. Let's begin to declare. Let's begin to pray. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I call for full manifestation, oh God, of your glorious plans and purpose for my life. Begin to pray. Lord, the plan, the original plan that you have in your mind, oh God. Lord, while I was being formed in my mother's womb, before I came, Father, let that plan begin to come to pass. Begin to talk to the Lord. Let the glorious plans that you have for me begin to come to pass, oh God. In the name of Jesus, begin to pray. Now declare, say, my glory begin to emerge. My glory, come on. I call you to begin to emerge right now. In the name of Jesus. Ring it, boast. Move around and pray. Now take it as a prayer walk right now and begin to declare, Father, my purpose, your purpose for my life. Father, bring it to manifestation. Begin to pray. Every power fighting your purpose for in my life. Begin to fall flat in the name of Jesus. Are you praying right now? Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to, pray. Begin to, pray. Begin to tell the Lord in the name of Jesus. Father, bring your glorious purpose to pass to manifestation in my life. Your original intention for Prince Will. Lord, for, for allowing me to come to the earth. Father, let it begin to come to manifestation. Are you praying right now? Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Take prayer point number two. Say after me, may I not fall. I didn't hear you. To demonic traps. To make me waste my destiny. Now, which means every trap set by the wicked. To make me waste my destiny. Ah, I will not fall into it. Shall we begin to pray? Begin to pray for yourself. May I not fall into demonic traps. To make me waste my destiny. In the name of Jesus. Are you praying for yourself? Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we are prayed. Amen. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Some of you still have not caught this power of prayer. You are still going to pray this prayer point number two. Now, I was listening to Dr. Lukoya of the Mountain of Fire. You know him. 
and you know that he will not lie, he's a man of God. Now, he was now sharing the testimony and the prayers of one family. Now, in that family, he said they have about four girls, and all the four were not yet married. 60, 55, 50, 48. Then the last one, he said the last one was around going to 40 years. And she noticed that all her sisters were married, and she was trusting God for marriage. She was trusting God for marriage. Now, and she said all her sisters used to get one particular dream. And what's the dream they used to get? They used to see themselves already married to a king. All the sisters used to get that dream. That they will see themselves that they are already married to a king. So this lady stood up one day. She entered into prayer and fasting. And she was telling the Lord that everyone that is sitting upon my destiny. You know, she prayed that prayer. By the time she was praying the prayer, she said she saw herself, she slept. She now saw herself enter the palace. And a king was seated on the throne. And she saw her four sisters. Two sat like this, two sat like this. They were married to that king in that dream. But in the physical, they were, physically they were not married. He said, and as she entered, her sister said to her, you are welcome to, to the palace. Our husband wants you to sit. She said she just remembered the prayer she was praying before she slept. That everyone sitting upon the my marriage, my marital destiny, you are destroyed. She said, as she started praying the prayer, oh, are you the one sitting upon my marital destiny? Oh, can't you, you are destroyed by fire. You know, after she prayed, she woke up. Beloved, she's the only one married till today. So if I'm telling you to pray, I know what I'm saying. There are forces of darkness that don't want the purpose of God for your life to come to pass. God has declared his purpose for you hear me it is your own responsibility to walk towards that purpose it is the devil's own structure a plan a, a plans you know to make sure you don't get there but concerning you you will fail see after me see after me may i not fall to demonic traps to make me waste my destiny in the name of jesus lift up your voice and begin to pray begin to declare it in the name of jesus may i not fall into demonic traps to make me waste my destiny in the name of jesus my destiny will not be wasted are you praying for yourself every plan of the of the wicked to make me waste my destiny oh god father let it begin to fail in the name of jesus to pray my destiny will not be wasted my life will not be wasted in the name of jesus are you talking lord ragada baba say shangada bari basata yangada ba my life be wasted oh god my destiny will not be wasted oh god every plan of the devil to make me waste my destiny as a fear in the name of jesus begin to pray for yourself 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 lord my destiny will not be wasted my destiny shall be fulfilled my purpose shall be fulfilled. your purpose for my life shall come to pass oh god Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we are prayed and amen. In Genesis 25, verse 28, show us Genesis 25, verse 28. The prayer you want to pray from to verse 28 is, Lord, make, make me find great favor before everyone that is important to the manifestation of my glory. Now, hear me. For your glory to manifest, you need the favor of certain people. May those people not hate you. I didn't hear your amen. I say, may such people not turn against you. Genesis 25, 28. Where is it on screen? Genesis 25 and verse 28. Now let me read from my Bible here. It says, And Isaac loved Esau because he did eat of his venison, but Rebekah loved Jacob. Hear me? For, for Jacob to, uh, to be fulfilled, he needs the help of Rebekah. If your helper of destiny hates you, you can't get to the place of help. You can't get to that destiny. I was studying in the morning. Do you know that one of the reasons why uh, 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 Jacob was able to uh, outshine Esau was that he had the helps around him. When the father said, go get me venison, the mother went secretly. She said, don't worry, I will cook the food that your, your daddy like. Somebody killed the meat. She cooked the food. Jacob didn't do anything than to go and take the blessing. When you have people, you will enjoy speed. I come again. When you have people, what will you enjoy? Speed. But if you lack people, your journey will be slow. So we are going to pray. As prayer point number three. Make me find great favor. 
I didn't hear you. Make me find great favor before everyone that is important to the manifestation of my glory. Open your mouth and begin to pray in the name of Jesus. Everyone that is important to the manifestation of my glory, Father, make me find their favor. Uluwa je kim bau tu re re wan pa de. Uluwa je kim bau tu re re wan pa de. Ani go go a wanti. O she ye bi to she pata kisi. A si mu she le re re ni no a ye me. Uluwa je kim a bau tu re re wan pa de. Begin to pray. Let let me enjoy their favor. Men and women, oh God. Ragada ba 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 ba. Lenge debo satayanga da baskene. Shankada ba ba ba. Lord, I will contribute in one way or the other to the manifestation of my glory. My Father, my God, wherever they are. Let them begin to favor me. Let them begin to favor me. Begin to pray for yourself. My empire of destiny will not turn against me. Are you praying? Rakaya rabase, shankada barabarabas, lenge degede, lakada yarabase, shankada barabaskine, basata yanga, lakada barabos, balakada barege, ringe degede gedes, favor Lord, favor Lord, favor Lord, favor Lord. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. In Genesis 27, 22, as they show us on screen, you will shout aloud, let time favor me. Uluwa je ki igba ye mi. Je ki akoko ye mi. Let time favor me in all that I do and on every side. The Bible says, and like verse 22, so Jacob went near to Isaac, his father, and he felt him and said, the voice is the voice of, uh, uh, the voice is Jacob's voice, but the hands are the hands of Esau. Move on to the next verse. Move on to the next verse. We'll read on. Look at the blessing. Move on now. And he, and he, and he did not recognize him because his hands were hairy like his brother Esau's hands. So he blessed him. Now, if you read through downwards, the Bible shows us that the moment he finished blessing him, how time favored him. The moment he finished blessing him, and he went out like this. Esau came in. Why did Esau not come when the blessing was on? He would have said, Daddy, stop. Daddy, stop. You know, when time doesn't favor people, that's when they go to the place where they will be favored at the wrong time. One of our sons was telling me, he said, Papa, she don't think that most of you are going to America. I don't think that you are going to a visa application space in Monsi. You know, the only visa application space we have in Nigeria now for, from, for, for, for America is 2025. Whoever is applying to America now cannot get date except in 2025. Except if you want to buy the date of those that already have the date but are no longer interested in going. So he was telling, he said, Papa, in fact, she not take by it. So we can move on. Then he pray for me. And no more pray. Oh, show. Oh, let get insane. He lives there now. Time will favor you. I say to shout time, time, may time begin to favor me. Are you said let's pray together? I said, let time favor me in all that I do and on every side in the name of Jesus. Let's begin to pray. My father, my God, I pray for myself. Let time favor me. Let time favor me. Let time favor me in all that I do. Recada Baba Basekeleboskine. Good things will happen to me at, at Lord at good times in the name of Jesus. Time begin to favor me. Ragada base, I will not be late when it comes to manifestation of the, of the good things. I will not be late when it comes to opportunities. I will not come late. Lord, I will not be late. Lord, in the name of Jesus. Begin to pray. Rakada baraba. Basata yangada baskendibos. Rakadaba. In Jesus' name we are prayed. You know, there was a man in the Bible, I think Brasilia or so. If I remember his name, I will tell you. When David was going, David said, Follow me so I can take care of you. You know what the man said? He said, I'm old. He said, At the age that I am now, I don't even enjoy, I don't know the taste of food anymore. At what time? See, David felt favor. He said, I don't know the taste of food anymore. The man now said to David, take my son. Shall you run when your time will favor him? You know what it means for time not to favor people? Things happen at the odd times of their life. Odd time, don't shell it. So well, well, bless God for him. He just completed his house and he wants to use his house as his 98th birthday celebration. 
his burial site. At at 98, he wants to bless his first house. Burial site. So let's celebrate God. The Bible says even at old age, we shall still be fruitful. He's, he has bought his first car and he's using it as his 99th birthday celebration. His ambulance. That kind of car, ambulance now. Have you, ambulance in it. You are going to pray. Lord, let time favor me on every side. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Please pray for the children. Children, begin to pray for yourself. If you are beside your children, lay your hands upon them and tell them, My son, my daughter, time will favor you. Yakada Barabas, lay hand on them, time will favor you. You will not be struggling to gain admission into higher institution when you are 60. You will do it now that you are young. Begin to pray. Basakada Barabas. Begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray. Let time, let time, let time favor, favor me, oh God. Let time favor my children in the name of Jesus. Let time favor my seed in the name of Jesus. Begin to pray for yourself. Are you praying for yourself? 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 Lord, let time favor me, O God, in the name of Jesus. That's one of the things that Jacob enjoyed. Time favor Jacob. Time will favor Prince Will. Let time favor me, O God. Let time favor me, O God. Let time favor me, O God. Good things will happen to me at the prime of my life. In the name of Jesus. Leke de Bosa, Rakada Baskin de Bos, Shankada Baraba, Reke de Baskine. Begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray. Rebuke every spirit of delay from your life. Rebuke it from your life. You spirit of delay, I rebuke you from my life. In the name of Jesus. Reke de Bosoto. Rebuke that spirit of delay. Are you praying for yourself? Are you praying for yourself? Are you praying for yourself? Rebuke that spirit of delay right now. Begin to declare, time begin to favor me. Lord, let the anointing that will make time favor me rest upon me right now. Rekede bosoto ye maskene, balakada badabash, lenge de gede gedes, basata yanga da baskene. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. In verse 20, in chapter 28, verse 10 to 16, you will say, Heavenly Father, reveal yourself to me. Show me more of yourself. Can I tell you this truth? Uh, the more of God you know, the more of God you will enjoy. Now Jacob went out from Bethsheba and went towards Haran. Move on. We we'll stop at 16. Whosoever I be. Okay. So he came to a certain place and stayed there all night because the sun had set. And he took one of the stones of that place and put it at his head. And he laid down in that place to sleep. Now look at this. He laid down to sleep. Then he dreamed. And behold, a ladder was set up on the earth. And it, and its top reached to heaven. And there the angels of God were ascending and descending. You know the encounter that changed the life of Jacob? It started from here. Ascending and descending. We stop at 16 verse 13. Let's go. And behold, the Lord stood above it and said, I am the Lord God of Abraham your father the god of isaac the land in which you lie i will give to you and your descent some people don't know that relationship with god is what gives us access to the provisions of god say after me are you set to declare are you said say heavenly father reveal yourself to me show me more of yourself, oh God, in the name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to pray. Begin to tell the Lord, Father, reveal more. I want to know you more. Lord, I want to know you more. I want to know you more. Let me more see. Let me know you more. Show me more of yourself, oh God, in the name of Jesus. You did it for Jacob. Lord, do it for Prince Will. Are you praying? Are you praying? Are you praying? Begin to pray, begin to pray. Rakada bara basi, basata yanga da baske de lebos. Shankada bara. Begin to pray for yourself. 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 Lord, let me know you. 
I want more of you, Lord. 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 The more I know, the more I want to know you, Lord. Reveal more of yourself to me. In the name of Jesus. I don't want to be a stranger to you, Lord. I don't want you to even be a stranger to me, Lord. I want to know you deeper and better. Father, I want to know you deeper. Lord, I want to know you better. Lord, I want to know you deeper. Lord, I want to know you better. Reveal yourself to me, Lord. Basata, reveal more, reveal more, reveal more, reveal more of yourself to me. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed and amen. Then listen to this prayer point number six. Genesis 29, 1 to 10. The prayer point says, listen to it very well. We'll read it very soon. Lead, lead me to the people you have positioned for me in destiny. Now, listen, there are people God have positioned in destiny. If you reach this property place, you'll meet this person. If you, now, look at what happened to Jacob. One of the reasons why a lot of people are struggling is because they missed the people they were supposed to meet. And they met the people they were supposed to miss. There are certain people you must never meet them. There are certain people God put them in places for you to meet. Where is that scripture? Genesis 29, 1 to 10. So Jacob went on his journey and came to the land of the people of the east. Follow this really. And he looked and saw a, a well in the field. And there, sorry, and behold, there were three flocks of sheep lying by it. For out of that well, they watered the flocks. A large stone was on the well's mouth. Verse 3. Now all the flocks would be gathered there. And they would roll the stone from the well's mouth. Water the sheep and put the stone back in its place on the well's mouth. Verse 4. And Jacob said to them, My brethren, where are you from? And they said, We are from Haran. God positioned them. Then he said to them, Do you know Liban, the son of Nahor? And they said, We know him. Wow. Which means by moving around, we stop. They know him. So he said to them, Is he well? And they said, He is well. Look, his daughter. Can you see? I can what? Allah won't see. Though they don't have anything on the emblem on their head. Nothing is on their head to show. But it takes the spirit of God to let you know them. I'm telling you the fact. Beloved, look up. There are people I'm eternally grateful for. And when you come out, because they solved major problems at the junctions of my life. Now, I remember one example. We we're trusting God. No matter thing you, everybody will say, uh, when you are walking towards uh, something, you know, you are trusting God. We, I think we went, I don't know, I and my wife, we went, we just went to an inquire of, his, of the school where my daughter is. And we got to the admin session, not knowing that the man we met was not working in the administrative team. We greeted them, he attended to us, we exchanged numbers. Now, listen. We didn't know anything. We didn't know that that was not his office. So, but we kept chatting. Uh, okay, my daughter wants to put in for law. We didn't know that law has number of people that they take. The day they concluded that, okay, let's offer admission. The man just sent message to me. The portal has opened now. And he sent all the documents that I need. And instantly I told her, oh, yeah, start filling. They filled and submitted. Uh, acceptance fee, we, we instantly paid. Do you know a few days after the man just called? He said, Pastor, have you paid acceptance fee? I said, the day you sent it to me, we paid acceptance fee. He said, because we are closing the portal now. What if we didn't go that day? And he just told me, I said, oh, come, let's go to the school. Let's go and inquire. We're going from school to school. Let's go and inquire here. Let's go and inquire there. The man now asked the man, do you work in the administrative? He said, no, I don't work in the reg registrar's office. My own office is... That that day, I just came there to greet somebody. May you not miss the people you are supposed to meet. There are certain people God positioned them. And you know why people miss the people they are supposed to meet? Some of us, we, we, we used to downgrade people. 
Elomi ni ni en lara ma foju payan re ta ni ta ni Don't downgrade people So we are going to pray that prayer Imagine if Jacob did not meet this man he will have been going around Hey he bo wa ni Hiran wa He bo ni Hiran wa He bo ni Hiran wa So he said to them is he well and they said he is well and look his daughter Rachel is coming with the sheep then he said look it is still high day it is not time for the cattle to be gathered together water the sheep and go and feed them verse 8 I'll stop at verse 9 verse 10 sorry but they said we cannot until all the there's no time let's take the prayers prayer point number 5 is it 5? 6 say after me lead me to the people you have positioned for me in destiny oh God in the name of Jesus shall we begin to pray begin to pray for yourself begin to pray for yourself Lord lead me to the people oh God you have positioned for me in destiny in the name of Jesus Lord lead me to them help me that I will recognize them when, they, when, when I meet them may they also recognize me when they meet me oh God begin to pray begin to pray begin to pray Rakada Basay Lord lead me to them my father lead me to them oh God the people oh God Rabas and the labels that you are positioned for me in destiny oh God in the name of Jesus father lead me to them father lead me to them father lead me to them begin to pray Oluwa iko iko ri ta to ye kin ti ba won pade Oluwa jo sha no fun mi dari dari mi si bi ton wa je kin le ba won pade are you praying for yourself may i not miss them oh god ringa da ba da ba da ba oya gbadura fun ra gbadura fun ra don't joke with those prayer point in the name of jesus holy spirit of god lead me take charge of the leadership aspect of my life direct my path lead me to those men lead me to those women ringa da ba 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 Basse te le masque de le bos, reke de balabara, raka da bada basene, basata yanga da masque de le bos, reka da bada ba. Begin to pray, 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 begin to pray. Lord, lead me to them. Lord, lead me to them. Lord, lead me to them. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed and amen. Prayer point number seven. In Genesis twenty nine eighteen. Genesis twenty nine eighteen. Jacob made a plan and God made it come to pass. Look at it. And Liban said, it is better that I give her to you than that I should give her to another man. Stay with me. Now show me verse 18. He said, I said 18. He wrote like, you gave me 19. 18. 18, that's where he's planning. Now Jacob loved Rachel. So he said, I will serve you seven years for Rachel, your younger daughter. And they agreed. Do you know that it is not everything people labor for that they get? Do you know? And do you know that some people, that there are things they save money for. Eventually, they don't succeed to use that money for it. Now, this is the prayer you are going to pray. We are coming to the end of the year. Say, put your blessing upon my plans, oh God. I didn't hear you. Put your blessing upon my plans, oh God, and let it work for my good. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Lord, put your blessing upon my plans, oh God, and let it work for my good. The devil will not succeed to scatter my plans anymore. May it not be possible for the enemy to succeed to scatter my plans. Put your blessing upon my plans. Put your blessing upon my plans. Oh God, in the name of Jesus. And let it work. Let it work. Put your blessing upon my plan. Some of you have organized your life in such ways that in fact if it comes to pass you'll be glad say lord put your blessing upon my plans oh god in the name of jesus begin to pray begin to pray begin to pray begin to pray your blessing upon my plans your blessing upon my plans oh god the name of Jesus by Yakadabas. The Bible says, Commit your plans to the hands of the Lord. Begin to pray. Lord, put your blessing upon my plans, Lord. Thank you, Father, for it is working for my good. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Prayer point number eight Genesis 29 23 to 26. Beloved, Jacob did not plan to become a polygamist. That's why we need to pray this prayer. He said, now it came to pass in the evening 
that he took Leah, his daughter, and brought her to Jacob. And he went into her. Jacob didn't know anything. And Liban gave his, his maid, Zilpha, to his daughter, Leah, as a maid. Next verse. So it came to pass in the morning that behold, it was Leah. And he said to Liban, what is this you have done to me? Was it not for Rachel that I served you? Why then have you deceived me? It was not his plan. Now that's why, see, there's this prayer I want us to pray. I wrote it down this way. Deliver me from the error the wicked have set on my path. The, the error they set on my path. Ah. So many people so many things that is happening to them today they didn't bargain for it do you hear me can you imagine go back and read your bible do you know that Tama, that beautiful girl did not did not marry again because her step brother amnon raped her do you know that Dina, Diana, that beautiful daughter of Jacob, did not marry again because Shechem raped her? But as beautiful as they were in their in their young age, you know they will be they will be gallivanting around. Ah, you see. Well, but look at the devil put an error on their path that removed marriage from their destiny. That's why you must be prayerful. All the wives, all wives, look up. My wife is here too. Benny, Emma, but some men don't didn't plan to commit immorality at all. Some of them were set up. They didn't, some people didn't plan it at all. They were just ignorant. That's why I always tell our men: if your wife say, say to you, be careful of this person, and that person is a woman, be careful. Because nobody knows women. Like women, if your wife says, My husband, be careful of that girl. Oh, why are you in issue to be careful? Why nothing happen? He didn't plan it. There are errors set on people's part, and we mean live life where God just sleep. I know of somebody like that, they deceived her. Come over to Libya, business is moving there. She didn't know. She got to Libya. It was prostitution. She couldn't resist because they, they've collected her, her, her papers. And she got there. There was nothing she could do. She had no choice than to join them. Error set on parts. Are you set to pray? Jacob had no choice than to continue the marriage. Deliver me. I didn't hear you. From the error the wicked have set on my path. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, shall we begin to pray for ourselves? Let's begin to pray. Father, deliver me, oh God, from the errors that the wicked have set on my path. In the name of Jesus, begin to pray for your deliverance now. Begin to pray for your deliverance now. Begin to pray for your deliverance now. Father, deliver me from the error, oh God, that the wicked have set on my path. In the name of Jesus, Father, please save me. May I not fall into it. 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 May I not fall into it, oh God. In the name of Jesus, are you praying for yourself? Every error set on my pathway to glory, set on my pathway to destiny. I escape. I escape. I escape. I escape. I escape, oh God. Rakada basanda yarabas. Lord, I escape. Lord, I escape. Begin to pray for yourself. Lord, I escape in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. And amen. I want to pray for you, especially on this one. I had the case of a man on one of Yinka Ifedes program that he was coming from a program. He didn't know it was in the night, not even midnight. It was just in the night. A car just parked beside him and told him, get inside. And when he looked at them, they were police officers. They were looking for somebody to use to swap for the 
for one arm robber day that they are, you know, they released. That arm robber had killed a lot of people. So they released that one and just picked the man. He said he didn't know anything. He couldn't reach anyone. And they carried him from Ibadan to Oshobo, from Oshobo. The next thing, they went to court. Presented him as the one, arm robber. They has killed a lot of people. Then they sentenced him to death. He was in prison for over 20 something years of his life before human rights people that were going around from court to court met him had his story went to investigate discovered that he was not the one that was that committed the crime but look at 20 something years of his life wasted or do i want to tell you about the one that was sent on our on our platform this one attend church on liberty on this road went to watch football match and he was coming back. He said the car just parked. He went to watch a match and they told him, get inside. What did I do? He looked at it. It was Nigerian police uniform. They took him from... <laughs> he said he was shocked. They took his phone. He could not call anyone. Everybody was looking for him at home. They took him straight to Agbodi. The next day, they arraigned him in court. What happened? What did I do? They said he was part of those that robbed. The next thing, they, uh, they, they remind him in, in the prison. He was in the prison for another five years. Hey, like more. Oh, new. Error set on people's path. I pray in the name of Jesus. May you not fall into the error that the wicked have set on your path. In the name of Jesus. Prayer point number nine. Genesis 30, 27 to 30. Make me a blessing to my generation, oh God. Let my generation be grateful for me be grateful of me be grateful for me genesis chapter 30 verse 27 to verse 30 my children's children will be thankful about me look at it and liban said to him please stay if i have found favor in your eyes for i have learned by experience that the lord has blessed me for your sake say after me everywhere i enter from today everywhere i enter from today good things will be happening and people will connect it to me in the name of Jesus. Say after me, make me a blessing to my generation. Oh God, in Jesus' name. Let everyone connected to me prosper in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Make me a blessing to my generation, oh God. And let everyone connected to me, Lord, prosper greatly in the name of Jesus. Let them be saying since they met me, they are prospering. In the name of Jesus, let it be the testimony that will be following my life. In the name of Jesus, let everybody that comes in connection to with me, Lord, be prosper, Lord, be prosperous. Let them prosper, Lord. Begin to pray. Are you praying? 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 Are you talking to the Lord? Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Let's quickly take number 10. Uh, ten. You know, I told you 13. Number 10. In Genesis 30, verse 43, make me to increase exceedingly in every good things of life. The Bible says, and she called Genesis 30, 30, 43. Not 23, 43. 43. Look at it. Thus, the man became exceedingly prosperous. That's my portion. And had, and had what? Large flocks female and male servants amen and camels and donkeys say after me lord make me increase exceedingly in all good things of this life in the name of jesus open your mouth and begin to pro prophesy now this is jacob the bible says he became exceedingly prosperous prince will have me become exceedingly prosperous from now in the name of jesus our lord i i become exceedingly prosperous from today in the name of jesus Basataya, begin to pray for yourself. I become exceedingly prosperous in every aspect of good things, in every good things of this life. In the name of Jesus, I become exceedingly prosperous, O oh God. Are you praying for yourself? 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 Rakada basekele mos, ringa da basi, shakada baskele, basataya nga da baskele. Thank you, Father. In Jesus mighty name we are prayed and amen in genesis 31 verse 7 you will see it you will say lord prosper me in such a way that no economic situation will be able to limit me 
look at this he said your father has deceived me and changed my wages how many times ten times yet the man prospered he changed my wages ten times make me prosper in such a way that no matter the economic situation it will not affect me shall we begin to pray begin to pray for yourself lord make me prosper in such a way oh god lord that no matter what the economy is saying i will not be affected in the name of Jesus, Rekada Baba Baba Base, Shankada Basque de Bos, Basata Yanga de Basque, Lege de Basanda Yana Basque de Lebos, La Cada Basque de Lebos, Shakada Base, La Cada Bala, Raka Yana Basque de Lebos, Begin to pray, Begin to pray, Begin to pray, Begin to pray, Begin to pray. We are still going to take number 12 from this same verse scripture. La Cada Basque, Balege de Gedegedes, Basata. Leave that scripture on screen. We, we need it now. In the name of Jesus. Lord, thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Number 12 from that scripture. It says, God did not allow him to hurt me. Say after me. Make it impossible. Oh God, for anyone to be able to hurt me or any of my family members. Shall we begin to prophesy? In the name of Jesus. The Lord that did it for Jacob. Lord, come and do it for me. Make it impossible for anyone to be able to hurt me or any member of my family. In the name of Jesus. No one will be able to hurt me, oh God. No one will be able to hurt any member of my family. In the name of Jesus. Begin to pray for yourself. May it not be possible for anyone to be able to hurt me oh god in the name of jesus thank you father in jesus mighty name we are praying this last one please make sure the communion is coming around now in genesis 31 24 to 29 oh god defend me against every powerful person that is after me genesis 31 24 to 29 liban was so powerful God had to go and reveal himself to him. Uh -uh, for my sealer now, I read. But God had come to Liban. Can you see? The Syrian, that man was so powerful. If not that God came down, he could kill Jacob. It's, yeah, the Lib Liban, the Syrian, in a dream by night and said, be careful that you speak to Jacob neither good nor evil. Go on, we stop at 29. So, Liban overtook Jacob after seven days' journey. Now, Jacob had pitched his tent in the mountain, and Liban, with his brethren, pitched in the mountains of Gilead. 26. And Liban said to Jacob, What have you done that you have stolen away unknown to me and carried away? My daughters, I am I how many years look his have our daughters in seven, seven years old. But still, Liba is still saying they are my daughters. Carried away my daughters like captives, taken with the sword. 27. Why did you flee away secretly and steal away from me and not tell me? For I might have sent you away with joy and songs, with timbrel and harps. It's a lie. He didn't want to let him go. And you did not allow me to kiss my sons and my daughters. Now you have done foolishly in, in so doing. 29. It is in my power to do you harm. Can you see? But the God of your father spoke to me last night. I pray that every powerful person that is after you, God will speak to them this night. Amen. He said, but God spoke to, God of your father spoke to me last night saying, be careful that you speak to Jacob neither good nor bad. Can you see that God needs to defend you? There are some people, they are so powerful, they are not afraid of anything. Now say after me, oh God, defend me against every powerful person after me. Open your mouth and begin to pray. That's our last prayer point for tonight. Lord, defend me against every powerful person after me oh god in the name of jesus lord defend me 
Are you praying for yourself? Lekada barabas, basin de lebos. Rekada baskene, lekada basse. Shakada barabas, ringe de baske. Yes, Lord. You are Lord, defend me. Begin to pray against every powerful person after me, after my family, after my ministry. Begin to pray in the name of Jesus. Rikata baba 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 se ringe de baskanda yana baskanda de bosi balakada bada 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 bas shankada bada bada baskini baseke de baskini ringo de yana baskini basanta yanga da baskende de bosi shakada bada bada baskini basende de maskende de bosi rikada base thank you lord begin to thank the lord for victory right now i thank you for victory amo dupe shego I thank you for victory. Ah, thank you for victory. Thank you for victory. Yes, Lord, you have confirmed your word. The Bible says, "From whoever is born of God overcomes the world." Thank you for victory again. Thank you for victory again. Thank you. I'm a winner again tonight. I'm a winner again tonight. Eshiolua, rekada ba 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 se basata yanga na baskele. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. Ah, shagada bara baskini. Thank you. You know, Lord, I like that. I thank you, Lord. You are only be just here on lower. I lie like that. You are only Beja. Ain't it on long one? I lie like that. I thank you, Father Lord. You are only Beja. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Father, we thank you again. We give you all the glory. Lord, both those watching from their various homes all over the world, let them enjoy the same victory, O God, in Jesus' name. We thank you, O God, for you will bring to pass your glorious plans for our lives. We will continue to move from glory to glory, from honor to honor, from favor to favor. In the name of Jesus, nobody that will be stagnated in any way. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we are prayed. Put your hands together for Jesus and take your seats.